Hey, this is Moo, and welcome back to Vastly Sped Up Darklands, where the first thing we're going to do is get that money that we forgot to get last episode from the Fuggers and the Medici, and then we're going to spend our money. As you can see here, we have 101 florins. What we're going to do is try and get as much uh, Bible school training as we can from uh, the monks, and everyone is going to study religion. Well, actually, Horse and Boobs, whose religion is kind of low, are going to study that. Schmott is going to study read and write, and Fook is going to study speak Latin. Uh, Schmott and Fook are already at 30 religions, so they're going to get some increased benefits from donating money, which is another goal we have this game. At a certain point, we're going to spend a bunch of money and get virtue at the church, which, of course, is how you do things. Your virtue depends completely on how much money you give away to the church. Uh, we're going to do this for a while, maybe study some alchemy, uh, pick up a saint, maybe we may have to go to another town to get a, a saint, but that's alright. Uh, we'll have to do a lot of traveling because you can only visit the saint libraries so often. So as you see here, we're doing okay, we're spending money, we're still at 85 florins. Uh, we've got a horse up to 30 religion and boobs is probably just a little bit behind. So we're going to do this a little bit more. We're trying to get them to at least 30 religions so we can gain virtue. Um, Schmott and Fook are well over that. But we'll keep them on the path that they're on. And bingo! Boobs is now at, well, now she's at 31 religion. So everyone's at that threshold where we can give money away. Uh, we're going to try and go do that. We'll head up to the church and we'll give a donation. And the donation is based on how much money you have. So you see there it says 8 florins, 11 fennigs. Uh, that goes down as you have less money. There's a certain minimum amount you have to contribute to uh, get any money, I mean get any virtue for your donation. So uh, we'll probably not keep giving them huge chunks of money. Instead, let's go to another town because I'm a little tired of uh, the I'm a little tired of this town, honestly. Oh, I accidentally walked into a village. I'm gonna get out of here, because... Really, you guys are into sacrificing kids and raising the devil. That's fine. I don't care. I got... Got school to go to. And here are some monks who want to go to Aachen with us. Which is fine. That's where we're headed anyway. But they don't give us any religion. Or any virtue, rather. So, let's... Head in the main door. Gain some speak common. That's good. Uh, let's see. We're moderately well-known in Aachen, so let's give it a shot. Let's see if, first of all, the local alchemist is willing to train us. I don't think we can... Yeah, okay, he'll train us. Is he willing to... No, okay, we tried to buy a better Philosopher's Stone. He had one for two florins and 15 groschen, I think, which uh, would have been a higher quality stone than we have. But let's head up there, and oh, there's no tutoring available. Well... Hmm, we can get a saint anyway. This town's a little annoying too. Let's see. Who has saints? Manfred has one, Boobs has one, Schmott has one, Fook has three. Eh, we'll just give one to Fook. I mean, he should have as many saints as possible. It doesn't matter at this point because he can't call any of them. Uh, because his, his ver I think the combination of his virtue and religion is too low. But we'll train boobs in artifice and schmott. We'll train in alchemy for about a week. We'll get out of here. And then we're going to grind some bad guys because I f it annoys me that we cannot get training from uh, the monastery at this point. So I want to raise up my raise up my local reputation a little bit. Let's keep doing this. I apologize if this whole thing is like a little bit fast, but these sort of like let's look for people willing to teach us sessions, it's not really that they're boring. They're actually kind of fun to play. It's just that they're very, 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 very long. And especially when you work in this business about killing local robbers so you can gain reputation. Oh, these guys have falcons. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Yeah, everyone's going to take a falcon now, and we're going to arm them instead of our military hammers. And then, although we'll be a little bit more vulnerable, we'll use the Falcons to fight the uh, the fight the local robbers, and then that way we can everyone can gain a little bit of edge weapons if they don't all die because our edge weapon skill is relatively poor. Uh, well, we took a couple of wounds there, but you know nothing huge. Thankfully, we have pretty good armor, especially against clubs.
Now, oh wow, Fook, ugh, Fook, what is wrong with you? Firefook, of course, is getting his ass kicked by Rivers is pretty humiliating. But everyone's gaining a little bit of skill. We're gaining some uh, local reputation. Uh, the one thing that's very strange about, and, and a little unintuitive about uh, Darklands skill gains, is that it doesn't really matter who you're attacking, as long as you're attacking. So I believe that you that say if I just wanted to get everyone to maximum uh, impact weapon skill, I could just keep hitting these guys with military hammers until everyone was at like you know 99 impact weapon skill. It would take a while, but they could do it. And there's no additional skill gain from beating up say a dragon or a raubritter as opposed to beating up some thug with uh, a leather vest and a club. This armor is allowing us to do this without taking time out to heal, which is good. So, everyone, fight, 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 fight. Fight, 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 fight. Picking up a little extra cash, too. Doesn't hurt. Nah, 69 florins, and we've got a little bit more reputation. So let's sell our junk. And, yeah, at this point I'm a little... I mean, we can always get more Falcon Slayers. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll just take care of that. We'll go visit the... Um, uh, we can't get any training from the Alchemist. Great. All that effort. And then our tutoring option at the monastery is still grayed out as well. This is a huge waste of time. Everyone, rearm your military hammers. And I suppose we'll just sit here and heal. And we can train boobs up in some... Artifice, which we'll do. Uh, let's see. What's available here? Let's just top everyone else. Top everyone off on arrows and boobs can get a lockpick. Finally. That's good. It's silly to have an artificer with no lockpicks. A few more arrows. And now I am annoyed because I can't get any training. So let's go somewhere else. Let's go back to Cone because I, they like us at Cone and at least there's a university there. So, if we run out of luck again with the monastery, at least maybe we can go to the university and pay a lot of money for training. Although, I don't think we've succeeded yet in getting a trainer to talk to us. We can get alchemical training. That's good. Uh, we can get, of course, tinker training. And there's no option for training here. So, let's see. Who could use a saint? I'm just going to give... Uh, Fook as much saint knowledge as I possibly can without bothering to look up what the various saints do, which is advisable if you actually are playing this. I'm just being a little lazy at this point. Uh, we'll train up alchemy and artifice. Let's go back to church, or the monastery rather. Uh, we do get a tutor, that's good. So now we're going to spend more money on... Hmm, what does everybody need? Everyone has pretty good religious skills at this point. So let's just train up everyone equally in religion. Maybe, you know, we'll have to get everyone up to around... Eventually, like, it's going to cost us more money than we have right now, but we will get everyone up to around, like, 60 religion or so, and that uh, will allow us to do a lot more saint calling, get a lot more virtue. And we're already down to 58 florins. That's, this is how fast the money goes when you do a lot of this training. So it's costing us almost basically a florin per day that we're sitting in here with everyone training religion. It's a huge expenditure. So let's see if we can get cheaper training. Like that, yeah. Oh, well. Okay, uh, we, do get, we do get some training for uh, alchemy and for artifice. Let's see, will these guys talk to us this time? Now well, the university hates us, but we can... Oh, uh, yeah, the, the alchemical formulas are no good uh, to us. I think it's the same formulas that are available from the alchemist. We've already bought him out. So let's just do our kind of low budget training here for artifice and alchemy while these two guys earn money. We're getting a fair bit of artifice skill. That's reasonable. And Schmott does need to raise his alchemy kind of significantly. Let's look at these saints now. Can we call any of them? We can't call Catherine... Can't call Damien. That's unfortunate. Can't 
I, I don't think we have enough... Uh, I don't think Fook has enough uh, virtue and religious knowledge to call anyone. No. Yeah, he's the priest who can't call any saints. Perfect. Well, but we do have to get... Um, we do have to get our alchemy up, and there's a couple reasons for that. One is that if we go to investigate a... Let's see. If we go to investigate, like, a knocker mine or... Uh, say, you know, a dragon or a, or a Sabbath or even if we just fall into a pit or like we're get a quest from some merchant to go halfway across the map to uh, get, you know, to get his hat out of a cave, we're going to need alchemy. But here, we're giving away some money to the church and at around 50 florins or so, I don't mind giving a bunch of money away. So we're at 33 florins. We'll keep giving him money. And as you can see, we're down to 30 florins, so even though it says 4 florins, 12 groschen, and that's based upon when you first get there. We're not actually losing 4 florins every time, we're losing a percentage, something like 10%. We're tithing like 10% of our wealth, and we do that until we stop gaining virtue. And now, Fook is at 34 virtue, which isn't enough to call St. Catherine, but it is calling up to St. Damien. So I will go ahead and do this, and I'm just going to blow all his divine favor, pray for myself... I don't need uh, any of his benefits, except that now I have knowledge of St. Cosmas. Uh, because those two saints give knowledge of each other, which is good. At a certain point, I mean, I'll, yeah, here, we'll go to Mass, we'll have uh, Fu go to Confession. He'll actually gain a point of virtue, that's good. And then we're going to have to try, we'll probably go back to the inn, and Fuka is going to be able to pray... We'll just do that for a little while until he gets a divine for one point of divine favor. Um, we get oh great this now now that we're running low on money we get a tutor. So I'll go and study. So what I was saying before is that Fook knows uh, Cosmos and Damien, and if you pray for one of the party members, they give knowledge of the other saints. So technically, Fook can pray for one of the other party members, give them knowledge of the saint. Um. And then that party member can pray for himself or another party member and get knowledge of the other saint. Eventually, everyone in the party will have knowledge of Cosmos and Damien. Unfortunately, neither of them are really super useful saints. But, you know, it's good to have as many saints as possible. You don't... You, it, it's hard to predict in which situation you'll get an option to get uh, a saint uh, call that will help you in that specific situation. If you do look up the abilities of the different saints, uh, you try and take the ones that have the best special effects. So now I'm poor, so I'm going to leave town and go somewhere else. And I think Koblenz is pretty close, and I may have some piddly little quests that I could take a look at there. Let's see, is it this way? I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm heading the wrong way, but let's cut through the woods here. We'll head down towards where I think Koblenz is. Oh, we get close to a tower, and then we see uh, some merchants being attacked by a caravan. Now, we can try to call, say, if we had enough divine favor and virtue to call Gregory Thaumaturgus, we would be able to do that, and maybe he would intervene on our behalf, but we don't, so we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Fortunately, it doesn't look like a very big group of robbers uh, attacking these merchants, and mostly they appear to be kind of poorly armored, so this should be okay, even though we're outnumbered. When you rescue a merchant, they give you uh, a little bit of cash, like a florin or so, and then... Uh, the merchant's wife gives you some kind of a high-quality piece of equipment. And a lot of times it's a brass handgun, which I guess is all right. I'm not a big fan of the mechanical missile devices in this game. I mean, these handguns are really early, like, matchlock arquebuses, and they're not very reliable, and they fire about, like, once a year. Uh, but they do sell for a lot. I'm, if they give me one, I'll keep it around in case I use it someday. And the caravan master is pathetically grateful for your help. You saved our lives and our fortunes! So they give us a frickin' florin, thanks. And the other merchant uh, gives us a brass handgun. This is going to be a little bit over 40 quality. And we accept the gift saying, We appreciate your generosity, but the greatest gift of all is for me to be able to sell off this brass handgun for money because your one florin is really, really cheap. And then we leave. Okay, this is not a robber's castle. The peasants seem happy with him, so there's nothing for us to really do there. We could go and interact with him, but I don't think we're famous enough to get any good information out of him. Like, perhaps that there are a bunch of wolves waiting 
to attack us as we try and find our way back to Koblenz because we're completely lost. Well, all right, let's shoot these wolves. Schmott will get in a firing position while everyone else fires once, and Schmott will fire, and then they'll be on us. And then we'll just beat them up and, you know, be on our way. There's uh, These wolves are... They're definitely just kind of a road hazard. I mean, if you're well-armed and armored, uh, they're not a problem. If you're reasonably skilled, they're not a problem. You don't get anything out of them besides maybe some skill gain. But for a really young party, like if we had decided to just leave Kempen as soon as the party was created, just go exploring, wolves would kick our asses. And they can also show up at really inopportune times, like when all your equipment has been melted by Dragon's Breath or something. Um, let's work our way around this terrain here. We'll get into here. And there's a cave down there, so before we go into town, I'm going to stop and give money to some plague victims. And then there's a cave, and I think we have a quest here. So let's take a look at what this cave looks like. Um, and just before we get to the cave, um, we get stopped by a bishop who tries to extort money out of us. So Fuka's is going to try and plead our virtue, and the bishop doesn't buy it. So, well, he shouldn't, I guess. Uh, if we had a potion, we could distract them. If we had enough saint knowledge, we could distract them, but we don't. So we're just going to pay them. Uh, you, you can't attack them, but because it's Middle Ages Germany, that causes big problems. So here we are. The cave is way up a cliff face. We can't really do anything reasonable, so I think we're just going to have Horse climb up. And he falls down. Thanks, Horse. Horse is at two frickin' strength. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, the, uh, these little quests, are, to me, they're actually more difficult for the rob than the robbers because realistically, the only way that you can get up that cliff face is to have a saint, enough uh, saint knowledge and divine favor and virtue to call a saint to transport you up the cliff. So forget it. We're going to heal horse as much as we can heal him, and we're going to get the hell out of here around this wonky terrain. We'll head into Koblenz. Here we are. Now, we're completely unknown in Koblenz, as is, I suppose is kind of obvious by the fact that we couldn't talk anyone into doing anything. Uh, so, we are going to have to uh, kill some thieves here. But first, let's just give it a shot. We'll see if this alchemist is willing to train us. And he is. That's good. So, at least we can get uh, alchemy and tinkering training for a little while. Let's uh, horse heal up a little bit. And then we're going to have to go back to the reputation grind. Now, this will give us some more reputation in Koblenz. It may help us uh, get some more training from the monastery here in Koblenz. But honestly, there's only so much of this that I can really take. This kind of reputation grinding, it does, it does wear on for a while. But we are going to have to keep doing this at least for a little while uh, in order to gain access to the services of the, al the local alchemists, the physicians, if we can find one who's skilled enough and the monastery and the university, as well as gaining access to bounties given by the rot. And this kind of grinding, as I, as I recall and I desperately hope, becomes less necessary as you gain fame. And fame is a nationwide measure of recognition, and you get that by doing things like, I suppose, killing robbers, although it only helps a little bit. Our fame is pretty low, even though we've killed a couple of robbers. Uh, slaying dragons, rescuing miners. I suppose defeating the devil and preventing the apocalypse might also increase your fame. But it's going to be a while until we get there. So now we've armed everyone up with some looted falcons so we can take embarrassing amounts of damage against... Uh, piddling thieves and increase our edge weapon skill it would be kind of beautifully ironic if say I kept doing this and then one of my guys died because I was doing say like you know Schmott who as you can see has already taken some pretty serious hits just gets hacked to pieces by some lowly street thug in an alley somewhere I mean after fighting Robrider successfully just because I was abusing a progression mechanic I think that would be so funny I wouldn't even bring him back I just let it, like, yeah, I did that. Live with the infamy. So we did give him one day of rest, because he was pretty badly injured, and we go right back to it, get caught by the cops, and then get right back into the serious business of 
killing undesirables. You would think that this would be a crime. Eh, whatever. The only crime is that they don't have better loot to give us. I think, yeah, if... If I keep doing this and keep not getting the sort of local reputation and education benefits that I'm hoping to get by running uh, this grind for so long in these towns, what I'll probably wind up doing is just kind of wandering the countryside and looking for Rob Ritter and then maybe dealing with the towns right around there instead of being offered four florins by some merchant to find a scroll, which I don't care about. Uh, probably finding another Raubriter. What I, I... I think I, I did have it a little bit backwards. I shouldn't have gone for religion first, although I know that I have to get religion. If you really want to crunch this game without just cheating for money, then what you do is you level up your alchemist at first. Ugh, you can learn a saint, but... No actual instruction. Okay, you learn, Peter. Uh, what else is around here? Frankfurt on Main is available. I think Mains maybe. We'll heal up a little bit and then decide what to do. The thing to do is to uh, level up your alchemist and run around buy a lot of ingredients, uh, grind potions. You know, get him get his training up as high as you can, like I'm doing right now. Get as good a philosopher's stone as you possibly can. Build profitable potions and sell them. And then you have the funding to be bored at school for as long as you want. Um, what I'm worried about is one that I do this too long and I bore myself to death. And the second is that it is dark lands after all, even fully patched up. And uh, at a certain point, bugs will occur. Someone is up ahead. Yeah. Let's see if we can talk to them. Nope. Hmm. Five dudes. Leather, club, no shield. Stamp procedure. So, some of the bugs that happen when you play Darklands too long, there's one that's avoidable, which is that you can't save anymore, and that's because Darklands is limited to, I think, either 100 or 99 save games, and after that, things just get all corrupted. The other things that can happen, one is very famous, is the sort of hair dye bug, and then your color palette for your characters gets all messed up and you wind up with neon hair, which I guess is okay. You can still play like that. It's just annoying to look at. Uh, there's another bug which I've run into where, especially if you play a long training game like I do, um, let's just charge in and get these guys. You play a really long training game, you train, 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 and then at a certain point, something gets corrupt in the database and you can no longer see what you're selecting to train. Like, there's a menu available, but all the entries are blank. You can still select them if you're really careful, but you don't really know what exactly you're getting. Sometimes the amounts get all screwed up. Like, it says, oh, it'll cost you 4,096 fennecs for one day of, uh, you know, training artifice or what have you. You can still play after that. It's just that you don't really know what you're looking at, and that does become so annoying that eventually I'll quit. Now... Despite the fact that I am doing exactly the thing that I said I shouldn't be doing, which is walking from town to town, uh, killing thugs for local reputation, and spending all my money on training, the thing that I'd like to do, once I see what this merchant offers me... Oh, another brass handgun. I humbly accept this gift and promise to sell it for a lot of money later. Uh, what I'd like to accomplish in this game is actually finish all the major quests. And I have finished the major quests in this game at one time or another, but... I'm trying to remember, since I first got this game, and it must have been in 92, uh, I must have played it, like, about 20 times. And most of the time, I just walk around the world and explore the sandbox, because I really enjoy it. Except for this business where I have to pay the tithe, because... No one will listen to me. Oh, and then 20 feet behind him is a freaking nobleman. Uh, pay this toll. Let's see if we can talk to him. Well, apparently noblemen are easier to uh, convince than corrupt clerics. He lets us go. Our fame is only 20. That is the only thing he'd be looking for on the road. I must have just gotten a good speed common check. 
I'm going to ignore this shrine for now. We just don't have enough money to, uh, to spend on it. Um, but just walking around exploring sandbox is really a lot of fun. Finishing the game's quest line is, I mean, there are some good stories in there and some interesting encounters, but a lot of it comes down to, I have great skills and great equipment and 600 billion Essence of Grace potions, and I'm just going to use as many as I have to in order to live through this, live through this series of encounters. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. Oh well. Uh... But, I mean, since I am recording a playthrough, I may as well finish it. Otherwise, it's the kind of game that you can just kind of walk around forever and just enjoy the and just enjoy the scenery and spending money on training and getting to really high skills and becoming famous. And ultimately, I mean, that's really the point of Darklands is just to become famous and explore the sandbox. It was way ahead of its time in terms of sandbox game design. You know, nowadays people really love to talk about, oh, sandbox this, sandbox that, blah de blah de blah and uh, and freedom of choice, and, and you can go and do whatever you want, and in most games that's really not true. I mean, I suppose it's true in some of the, the uh, Elder Scrolls and Oblivion games, but honestly, I, I didn't really personally, en I didn't enjoy those. I played Arena, the first one, and I thought that was a really clever character generator that had a game attached to it. We're only at 11 reputation, 13 florins. I'm already getting kind of sick of this town. Before I've even explored it. Uh, then I played Daggerfall, and Daggerfall I think was the first game that I ever actually returned to the store. Just because I had to clear everything off my hard drive, took forever to install it. Got into that first generic dungeon, which they, they can't seem to get away from. Like, oh, you're in jail. You should escape and learn all the game mechanics while you do so. And then you do it. And uh, as soon as I opened that door, the game crashed and I lost all my progress because I hadn't realized what a buggy mess it was. Uh, the games after that, I played a little bit of Morrowind. Didn't really enjoy it for much the same reasons. Uh, it just, the game felt very bland to me. My wife really likes Skyrim. I haven't played it yet. I have played the uh, the remakes of Fallout and a little bit of New Vegas, and I thought they did a better job. They did a better job on Fallout than uh, I, and I know a lot of people were afraid that they would do. A lot of us were just convinced that they would destroy the franchise. They don't play the same as the earlier Fallout games, which I think were stronger, stronger games. But they didn't turn into a steaming pile of shit like they did with, say, you know, Brotherhood of Steel. So now we have a little bit of reputation here. Let's see who's willing to train us. We can get alchemical training. Ooh! Alright, we traded for a new formula there. That's good. Uh, this physician is capable of training me, but... He won't right now. That's good. It means that we can go back to him, maybe get a little more healing. It's, it's difficult to imagine that he, he could take us all the way to 60, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. We can learn a saint. Um, tried to give some money, but we didn't have enough to uh, gain, any, gain any virtue. So we'll just go back to this uh, training grind for the cheaper skills, including alchemy, the one that we really need right now. Let's go back and see if we can get more training. Yeah, we can. He will not sell us a stone. And there's nothing for us to learn at the monastery. Now that's annoying. Well, I'm getting a lot of artifice. A fair bit of alchemy. These games are very, 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 very small. Let's see. Oh, he won't train us this week. If the alchemist won't train us and we can't get anything at the cathedral like that, I think it's time to leave. Let's see, there's Mainz, Frankfurt on Main. We're in Main, so we could go to we could try to go to Frankfurt. Frankfurt on Main. So let's walk over there. Try and stay on the road as much as possible to speed up our travel. I think that's Frankfurt on Main right there. We'll just 
escort these pilgrims. Yeah, that was it. So we wasted a couple of days, but you always try and take those virtue gains whenever you can. Talk our way in. Um, should we just start grinding right away, or now? Nah, we'll, let's see. That physician's no good. We can get tutoring. That's good. Uh, what's available there? No disciplines, but we can pick up a saint for only ten groschen. That's a good deal. And this time we'll take uh, Saint Gurfal Gadarn and give it to Horse. That's a weapon skill and strength and endurance kind of saint, and it makes sense for him to have it. Um, oh, I forgot to train boobs and artifice this time. That's all right. We can artifice is like the easiest. You can always train artifice as long as you can get to a town and they don't hate you. Uh, let's see. I think we need a little more reputation, unfortunately. So let's go back to a little more grinding. As my cat starts yelling at me. What do you want, cat? Alright, let's see. We can kill a couple more groups of these guys. Uh, to see if maybe the monastery will be available to us again. Spend a little money. I am a little disappointed in this run-through because... I, mean, I haven't really done anything new. We visited like three or four new towns. Gained some... Minor reputation, a uh, couple of skills here and there, but aside from that, uh, what we're really trying to do is get get cheap training, and I shouldn't have focused on that because we, I mean, we got uh, our hundred florins or a hundred and I think we wound up picking up like almost like a hundred and twenty florins for those two rowbrothers, and I've spent all that money, so. Uh, I think I'm falling back into a sort of like comfortable pattern. Like, I know I can kill robbers, I know I can gain skills, I know I can gain reputation. Uh, and it's relatively, relatively low risk. So naturally I'll just keep doing it for a little while until I get tr well and truly bored. And then, uh, see, I could go back to the other town. That's, I'm a, got a respected rating here. Let me sell off my stuff. Come here, cat. Archer, what do you think we should do? Well, I think you should look at the Alfred of S's Eater Water Formula and see if all the ingredients are here. Well, that's a good idea. So the hard one to get is Aqua Regia. And, it, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any Aqua Regia available here. The way that they spread out the available alchemical ingredients. I mean, you can get some from the alchemist, although it's usually not worth it to risk getting him mad at you just by asking for ingredients. You can get some from a doctor, although he takes extra time. You can get some from the pharmacist, and the foreign trader will usually just have the bases, like the choleric, uh, melancholic, uh, sanguine, and phlegmatic bases uh, available for you. So the other ingredients, like the antimony, the aqua regia, pure gold, cinnabar, that stuff tends to be spread around, and most of the times that I've played, I've found it extremely annoying to just go from town to town to figure out where the heck everything is. So I just buy a whole bunch of it uh, and leave it on my alchemist so he can build whatever. Anyway, I'm a little annoyed, so I'm going to save this game here, and then I swear next time... I'm just going to go out and find someone to kill. Thank you for watching.